in terms of sort of working with a music organization and with an orchestra, professional orchestra, is that something you'd attempt again? Has it sort of changed how you view telling stories and you know, yeah, producing so that, like stories from an archive? So I think the main thing that I've learned from this is about the impact that the creative opportunities we were able to offer, particularly to the young participants, the impact that that has. So I started off very much with my historian's hat on and I want people to know about this amazing bit of local history. But actually there was, it was the day of the first performance and first film that we created. So that was January, 2022. And it was, it was the first time we'd all met in real life. Everything had been done remotely until then. Um, and it was all very touch and go whether we'd be able to even go ahead with, with this, this day of filming and performing. Um, with COVID restrictions and it was all able to go ahead and um, we started off the day with the GCSE drama students from the local high school Newmarket Academy coming into the museum to film them reading some extracts from Fritz's memoir and this is very sort of uh, biographical performance a very a sort of narrative of his life from 1938 um, and living under the Nazis through to arriving in Newmarket in 1939. And um, and they all looked really nervous when they arrived. And I don't blame them. Like we really asked a lot of them because they not only had to, to do all these pieces to camera with all these grown ups they've never met all around watching them. They knew that they then had a live performance in the evening with professional musicians who they'd still not even met at that point. So it really, we really did ask a lot of them. And seeing the the opportunity that we'd been able to create there where they not only had had all this additional coaching from their drama teacher they had lots of additional input from Sarah Freestone as well in coaching them in, in how to be in front of the camera and the film company we work with Offshoot Foundation um Paul from from them again he's brilliant at coaching them and to see that you know never, they were using the auto cue and doing all these things they'd never done before and you could just really see their confidence grow during the day. And, and that was sort of reported back from their teachers later on as well, sort of particularly the live performance in the evening where they're on stage with, with this professional string quartet and, and their words and the music all sort of mingling together and, and they all took their bow together. Not only that, not only in front of a live audience, but in front of the granddaughter of the man who wrote the memoir. And this is her family story and Sandra's there in the front row and she, she made this amazing very impactful speech at the end of the performance um I think for us to have been able to provide the opportunity for some local young people to have been part of that that was that was a real moment for me of going like oh not only have they learned about the history and that's great but actually the confidence that you they were sort of glowing by the end of it and, and being able to see their confidence develop throughout that day was amazing um and then in the um, for the the big performance in July, the students who took part in that had had you know several workshops either with with Sarah the composer or Tom Hobden the choreographer we worked with. They'd created something that was their own. Again, they were on stage with professional musicians, just having the experience that people can make a living doing stuff like composition or, or performing. Um, just how often do you get that experience as, as a young person like not not very often and, and for the all the the young musicians they were sat all around the stage where the the professionals were performing just to be that up close to a double bass and a bassoon and I don't think I've been that close to a bassoon before <laughs> and just all just all of those experiences that this project brought um uh, yeah seeing the seeing that and the value of that in addition to the fact that they've learned about a local historical story um and and that that activity kind of bringing it all to life they were doing something active not not just having the story told to them they were an active part of the telling of that story so I hope that that means that it will be sort of more memorable for a longer time and that more people will have engaged with it as a result of the fact that that's the way that we were able to to share that story.